Hi, would you like to learn how to make a sweet and sour crispy tofu salad, which is highly nutritious and makes for a very filling entree? If so, then this is the episode for you. I'm Diana Goldman, and you're watching Bean Town Kitchen, where plant-based dishes are shared that you and your body will love. So my husband is a triathlete and he eats a plant-based diet. In this episode, I'm going to share with you a crispy tofu and rice salad, which is one of his favorite meals to eat for his long-distance events. I'm filming from Mont Blanc, where my husband is competing in a half Ironman tomorrow. He requested this dish because not only does he love it, but it offers the high-carb, moderate protein mix that he looks for before his long-distance races. Spoiler alert, here Dan is at the end of the race. He did finish and he did really well. To begin with, I'm going to prepare the crispy tofu. The key to obtaining lots of flavor and just the right texture is two things. First is pressing the tofu and then spicing it liberally. I usually use a very handy device called a tofu press, but I didn't bring it to Canada with me, so I'm going to improvise. So remove the tofu from the package, lay it on a plate covered with a paper towel or a kitchen towel, cover it with more towel, and then something heavy to press out the liquid. A pile of heavy books works well, but I'm staying in a hotel room, not a library, so I have to improvise. So I filled this kettle to the brim with water, and this should do the trick. I'm going to leave it now for about 20 minutes, and by the way, you can find the recipe for this dish in the description below the video or on my website, Beantown Kitchen. So while the tofu is being pressed, I'm going to make the dressing. So in a small jar or bowl, mix together wine vinegar, maple syrup, some Dijon mustard, minced garlic cloves, salt, and pepper. So the next thing I'm going to do is saute the raisins in a very small amount of olive oil. This really enhances their flavor and texture. The step isn't necessary, but really does add to the overall yumminess of the rice dish. So now the tofu is done and it's time to dice and season it. Before I move on though, you might be interested to see this video of my tofu press doing her thing back in Boston. It's one of my most used kitchen appliances and I may just start traveling with it. Anyway, now is the time to dice the tofu into bite-sized cubes. These will be seasoned in a mixing bowl with garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. And then once that's done, I'm going to saute the tofu with a small amount of oil in a large nonstick pan over medium high heat. And then turn the tofu to ensure it becomes golden and lightly crisp on each side. This may take about 10 to 20 minutes. Now is the time to combine all of the ingredients. The prepared dressing, the cooked brown rice, sauteed raisins, some chopped walnuts, a diced green pepper, and the crispy tofu. So combine all of the ingredients in a large mixing bowl, and you can enjoy this dish right away or refrigerate it for a few hours. The flavors will marry with time and taste even better. So let's take a look at the nutritional content of this dish, keeping in mind that Dan was looking for a high carb, moderate protein pre-race dish. It has 45 grams of carbs per serving, and 18 grams of protein per serving. So it definitely meets the carb protein criteria that Dan was looking for. As it happens, this dish is inspired by a rice and chicken dish that I loved growing up. So the nutrition nerd in me was curious and I compared this salad using tofu and chicken. There's about 15% fewer calories per serving in the tofu version. Additionally, the tofu version has twice as much iron and three times as much calcium. And there is no cholesterol at all in the tofu rice salad as plant foods simply do not contain cholesterol. Chicken, red meat, fish, dairy, and eggs, on the other hand, do contain cholesterol. So this is Dan just before the finish line, five hours after first diving in the lake to swim 1.2 miles and then hopping on his bike for 56 miles and then running a half marathon. 
Just seconds later, he crossed the finish line and he qualified for the Ironman 70.3 Distance World Championship. At 52 years old, he's in the best shape of his life. Is it due to his plant-based diet? Who knows, but one thing is for sure, it's certainly not hurting. So why don't you try making this tofu rice salad and let me know in the comments how you like it. And you don't need to be a competitive athlete to enjoy this dish, I can attest to that. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more like it. Thank you so much for watching the video. A plant-based diet is great for the planet and the animals and for you. Lots of love to you.